हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आज हम क्लास नाइन्थ वाटर सिक्योरिटी वर्कबुक में से यूनिट नंबर थ्री का चैप्टर नंबर वन वाटर इज द बेसिस ऑफ लाइफ के क्वेश्चंस सॉल्व करेंगे सो लेट स्टार्ट क्लास नाइन्थ वाटर सिक्योरिटी यूनिट थ्री चैप्टर नंबर वन वाटर इज द बेसिस ऑफ लाइफ नेम ऑफ द एक्टिविटी Place an empty bottle of drinking water under the leaking tap in your school. Measure how much water has accumulated in it after one hour. Calculate how many liters of water are wasted per day from a leaking tap. Estimate how much water is wasted per day per year from such leaking pipes in your village slash area. Purpose slash importance of the activity. This activity aims to investigate and understand the water management practices in our local area. It's crucial to comprehend how water is managed, especially in the context of the growing global water crisis. This knowledge can help us appreciate the importance of sustainable water management and contribute to solutions. Proposed time duration for the activity: approximately four to six weeks. Materials and apparatus required for the activity: one, notebooks and writing materials; two, cameras or smartphones for photography; three, maps of the area showing water sources and management structures; four, access to the internet for research; five, surveying equipment if available. Methodology of the activity: One, begin by identifying locations in your village or city where water management practices are employed. These may include water treatment plants, reservoirs, distribution systems, and wastewater treatment facilities. Two. Visit these locations and document the types of water management methods used. Take detailed notes and photographs. Three. Interview local authorities, experts, or individuals responsible for these water management facilities to understand their design, operation, and significance. Four. Research the water sources, treatment processes. and distribution systems relevant to your area's water supply 5 create a comprehensive report summarizing your findings for each location including information about water sources treatment methods and distribution networks 6 compare and contrast the various water management techniques and their impact on providing safe and reliable water to the community 7 reflect on the importance of these methods in ensuring access to clean and safe water especially in densely populated urban areas 8 share your report with classmates to discuss the significance of effective water management practices in your region Diagrams photographs of the activity Concepts that have become clear during the activity 1 Understanding the importance of water management in ensuring a reliable water supply Two, recognition of the complexity of water treatment and distribution systems. Three, awareness of the challenges and solutions related to urban water management. Four, appreciation of the role of local authorities and experts in maintaining water infrastructure. What new things did you learn? I gained insights into the intricate systems that provide us with clean and safe drinking water. Conclusion. Investigating water management practices was an enlightening experience. 
it underscored the importance of these practices in safeguarding public health and ensuring access to clean water. Write your own opinion experience about the activity. This activity was an eye-opener to the complexity of water management in our community. It made me appreciate the hard work of those who ensure we have safe water to drink. Cooperation from the parents Parents were supportive throughout the activity, providing transportation and encouragement. Their involvement enhanced the learning experience. Opinion of the Parents Parents recognized the educational value of this activity and were pleased to see their child actively engaged in understanding local water management. They valued the focus on the importance of clean water access. Persons who have helped you 1. My geography teacher provided guidance on conducting the well study. 2. Local experts and historians offered insights and resources. 3. Classmates who participated in discussions. List of the reference materials. 1. Geography textbooks and educational resources. 2. Maps and documentation of water management facilities. 3. Interviews with local authorities and experts. 4. Online resources related to water treatment and distribution. 5. Government publications on urban water management. 6. Reports on the effectiveness of water treatment methods. 7. Photographs and field notes from site visits. 8. Data on water quality and distribution in the local area. Great video. Mom. Yes. I found the good channel for study. Great. Like the video. Share it to your school friends. Subscribe to it. But what's the channel's name? Wings of Fire Academy.